So hey guys, welcome back to another Terraria episode. Right here, we're actually at the dungeon, which is sort of a generated structure that kind of happens every once in a while. So we can see the whole map here, um, and I fell off of my own platform. So here's my um, house. Uh, I've been exploring out this way. We'll get to that later in the episode, and we'll get all the way out to the ocean. Uh, we might also go to this ocean, but for now, we're at the dungeon and it's getting dark, which is good. Well. Uh, maybe it's bad, I don't know. It kind of depends on how you look at it, because we've got this old man dude here. Come back at night if you wish to enter. So, uh, I actually remember most of this place. So basically, we don't want to go down there, or we're going to die instantly. Uh, well, we aren't. We're just going to fight like a super powerful dude uh, that we can barely do any damage to, and that one-shots us, so I uh, don't really want to fight him. Uh, but if we fight this guy instead, we can actually... Uh, go down there without fighting that. Oh. Oh, no. Really? Okay, well, basically, if you don't know, uh, it just said the blood moon is rising, and that basically means we're gonna get all kinds of zombies. And, um, yeah, I was not expecting that, so. Uh, we'll see if we can fight him. We also get these things, too. Uh, whoa. Almost fell off there. Uh, anyway, yeah. So basically, this happens every once in a while, randomly. It's just a random event, uh, and it spawns way more monsters. So uh, we might not be doing the thing I was trying to do, but uh, we can see, or I can show you guys about the Blood Moon. Um, it's it's not super dangerous, but I also forgot arrows or um, uh, potions. So. I'll just do this fight later, uh, but basically, this dude over here uh, will summon the second boss. Well, I think he's the first boss, uh, progression-wise, but he's just really uh, a bit harder than the other ones, so, yeah. Uh, and I've made this little arena out here to fight him, but, yeah, we're not going to curse him now, because uh, there's a bunch of zombies and stuff, and they'll just kill me. I also forgot potions, so... Yeah, we're gonna... Well, actually, I'm not gonna head home yet, because I would like to show you guys something uh, right here. And not get killed in the process. And... Okay, so there's actually a dude out here. Another NPC guy. If we go out far enough this way. Uh, and we can see him. So he... He basically, he's like a fisherman dude. And also, what's this? Oh, I've been in here already. That's why there's torches. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's kind of dark too, so. Sorry about that, but, oh, what is that? It's a zombie, okay. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna keep going this way, and we should get to the ocean. Basically, the ocean is on either side of the world. Uh, so this side there is the ocean is also. Uh, and I think the dungeon can spawn on either side, but we were lucky and it spawned on that side. Uh, but yeah, here's this dude, and he's dying uh, to a zombie. And I can't hit it either. <laughs> there we go, okay. So he's a sleeping angler. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So as far as I remember, he will uh, actually give you stuff if you fish up certain items for him. I never did it too much, but uh, I think that's what happens. And also... damage is so annoying in this game sometimes. Oh, well that sucks. But I can show you what these fallen stars do, I guess. Uh, and also, my house has gotten a bit bigger. Uh, and yeah, the NPCs will attack stuff. Uh, that's what all those leaves are, so. Yeah. Uh, and this guy throws bombs, I think. Uh, whoops. Okay, so. Yeah, let's head over to the... Uh, oh, no, don't kill my guy. My guide. 
Oh, I've left the door open. Okay, that's a perfect idea. Man, those things have a lot of health. Uh, or maybe just my sword is bad. I think my sword is bad. We might want to upgrade it. I've been mainly using my bow, though. Uh, anyway, so I've, I've been sorting through all these chests. Most of them are empty. Uh, they're just ones I've been collecting underground. Uh, and so this layer right here is going to be for, like, natural resources, I guess. Uh, so we'll throw some of this stuff in there. And, um, yeah, so, oops, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, uh, I've got fallen stars in here, and we can use them right now. I don't think they're going to be much use, which is why I haven't used them yet. I just kind of wanted to show you what they do. Basically, if we go right here, they're mana crystals. So, five, or three. Oh, okay, I thought it was five. I guess three of them make a... So we hold it up, and it's kind of like a life uh, crystal. It'll just give us more mana. I don't know the max. Okay, that's the max, so... Yeah, I guess 200 out of 200. Okay, well... Uh, I guess we have an extra mana crystal now. Whoa, whoa, did somebody just open the door or something? Or did they... F okay. Alright. Yeah, this is the Blood Moon. You know, it's pretty annoying. Uh, I just don't have the best of stuff. Like, I can defeat these guys. They're just kind of annoying to defeat, really. Also, why are you opening the doors, NPCs? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, also water is red down there, you can see. Uh, so here's the dye trader also. So we can get a dye vat, or brown dye, or silver dye. Um, I think they also do stuff something with plants, but I don't know what. I think that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I showed you guys about the Blood Moon. Um, and once it becomes daytime again, I'll show you a totally new biome too. It's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'll cut to that right now. So guys, the whole event is now over and I got a banner out of it. Basically, if you defeat 50, 100, or 150, or just like multiples of 50, uh, of a certain type of mob, in this case it was Demon Eyes, you get a banner for them. So I've got a bat banner, I've got slime banners, I've actually got duplicate slime banners because I've killed 100 blue slimes and 100 green slimes. Uh, so I got I got one banner for 50 and one banner for 100 for both of those. I guess I also got 100 bats um, and I got 50 zombies there. Uh, and that's just kind of a rough estimate I guess. Uh, so yeah, but I'm going to show you guys um, uh, what's happening over here on this side of the world. So, uh, you've already seen uh, the desert, I think. Or at least you've seen the ice... No, wait. Maybe I haven't showed you many biomes. I haven't showed... Actually, I, I also haven't checked this out yet. Uh, eh. No, um... I don't really want to mine it, because it's kind of cool. But, uh, we will go... Oh, whoops. I felt take fall damage. Uh, we will go down here. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything up there. No, I fell. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, so here's the desert. Uh, I thought I already showed you this, but it might have just been an underground desert in the last episode. So, basically, uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. It's pretty boring, you know. It's got cacti. It's got a water leaf, I guess. Uh, but yeah, here's the end of it. It's a pretty small one. And then we're back in this normal biome. You can also find vultures and um, enemy dudes over there, so I don't really want to stay there because it'd just kind of be fighting guys. But also we've got this jungle, and uh, yeah, basically jungles, uh, they, they've got a bunch of di different mobs and monsters and stuff, uh, which we might see. Okay, so there's some piranhas here, which are, I think, normal water enemies. So we've got a jungle slime also, which is a bit stronger than a regular slime. Kind of looks the same though. We've also got these things, the snatchers, and they go through blocks, so they're kind of annoying, especially when you're mining. But sometimes you can't hit them, but they can hit you. Also, I think I'm out of uh, ice arrows, so that might be bad for what we're about to do. Um, 
because we're going to a totally new biome. Also, what? There's a chest here. Cool. Uh, we've got silver coins, recall potions. Uh, get out of here, slime. Um, we've also got lesser healing shuriken, silver bar, rope, a statue, and a breathing reed. Okay. Alright. Ah. Okay, wait, where'd the breathing reed go? Uh, here it is. So I think, yeah, it doesn't go in these accessory slots, so I think we have to hold it. Yeah, okay, now I remember. Alright, so let's get this piranha, dude. Uh, and we will move on to the next biome, which is the corruption. Uh, basically, in your world, you get a random chance of uh, either the corruption or the crimson, which are both, um, they basically have a bunch of evil bad guys in them. And uh, a bunch of bosses, and also uh, some. You, they basically define what kind of a uh, ore you get in your world, I think. Uh, so, also there's a chest right there. Uh, did I get it already? I think that the last time I was here was nighttime, so no, I didn't. Okay, well, I don't even want that or that, so. Yeah, we'll just leave this. Uh, also, we got Jimmy the Angler, so I guess our angler came back. Well, it's a different angler. But essentially, it's the same one. We might have a different quest or something. Oh, yeah, okay, so we got it. I think we're almost at the corruption here. But yeah, I wanted to um, show you guys. Yep, here it is. Ooh, okay, let's see. So it's got different wood. Um, and I have not been here in a while, so. Yeah, it also has this big pit that we might want to explore. Uh, got another big pit right here and it's got these dudes which are really annoying well they're not not annoying but I think we could probably take them down yeah. they're not too hard oh unless like five of them attack me oh, three, three of them. Yeah. exaggerations okay well so that one is that one stuck uh, no more. okay so I think we're gonna go down here oh there's just way too many of them uh, Okay, so I don't want to fall because this thing goes down really deep as far as I can remember. Okay, so we got a traveling merchant too. I can show you that later. Okay, so it looks like this just goes down pretty far. Uh, don't kill me. Yeah, so we need more ice arrows, but I don't have any ice on me, so I don't think I can make any. We might be able to make fire arrows though. Climb on out. Also, oh, almost fell. Uh, I did make a new hook, so uh, it has a bit longer reach, and uh, I think it's faster too. So, oh. Okay, let's head down this one. See if we uh, can take it on. But yeah, I think if you get down, there's a cool spot at the bottom where you can get stuff. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is, um, you can get certain ores uh, down here. Or actually, just randomly in your world, you'll get, like, uh, it's either Demonite or, um, I don't know the other one, so. It's, like, Corruption, or, yeah, this is Demonite, uh, for your Corruption, so I have Demonite in my world. I don't know what the Crimson is. I don't know what that ore is called. Uh, but they're basically the same. Uh, but they're just, you, you get, you get them if, if you have a Corruption or Crimson. Uh, and I think you can even get two cor uh, a corruption and a crimson, uh, but you have to get some uh, li really late game items to do that, so I don't know. Also, there's nothing in this hole. There usually is a bunch of stuff in here. But yeah, I, I want to check this out at daytime because it's uh, one. Oh, okay. I think the big hole is over that way. So yeah, usually there's like a big hole and a small hole. Oh, there's another dude. He's smaller. But this might connect to the big hole. Or maybe not. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, that was close. Okay. Yeah, I think this might connect to the big hole. I can see that light down there. Okay. Let's go down there. Ah, uh, we've got a demon altar here. So basically, uh, I think... Also... Oh yeah, we can't get through here, can we? So I think we need to use a bomb. 
So basically, demon altars let you craft stuff, I think. Whoa, okay, don't die. Uh, I also wanted to take um, a potion. Where is it? Did I not bring it with me? Okay, well, we'll just take this. I can see a bit better. Uh, basically, oh, there's a life crystal. I'll take that. If I can get to it. I have not had a life crystal in a while. E Oops, that was the wrong thing. I was trying to open my inventory, uh, and I have my um, grapple key set to E, uh, but my inventory is escape. So, uh, yeah, in Minecraft, you know, you, you get E for your inventory, you know. Occasionally, I still do that. But yeah, we've got a whole bunch of demon altars. Uh, we've also got some of this, which uh, might be demonite right here. Yeah, it looks like we've got some demonite. So, we have to blow it up with bombs. Uh, as far as I remember, I've already... Oh, no, 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 no. So, I've already gotten some. Uh, I have a few bars. I also killed the Eye of Cthulhu, so that he dropped a bunch. Uh, and I have another spawn thingy for him. Oh, no, the bomb's gonna miss. Uh, not very good at bombs. Okay, so he dropped one right there. Don't die. Uh, but yeah, so he dropped a bunch of them. Uh, and... Yeah, so I think I already have thir 13 bars, uh, but we need to get up here. All right, and so we can't mine this because our pickaxe just isn't strong enough yet. Uh, like you can see, it's got a, a red outline right there. Uh, so let's toss the bomb down. Oh, that's just gonna fall, isn't it? No. Oh, we almost died. A potion. Okay. Uh. Oh. Spooky music. Uh, anyway. Oh, now it's back to normal. Okay. Uh, oh, no, that was the wrong way. Get up. Ah, I'm really bad at bombs. Okay. Uh, well, I think another thing that we want is some uh, shadow orbs, which we can find down here. So we'll see if we can get some. Oh, no, wrong spot. <laughs> Let's drop a bomb here. Hopefully. Really? Oh, my bomb skills are terrible. Oh. Um. I think I just blew up a shadow orb. Yep. Okay. Hey, and we got a unreal musket. Uh. So as far as I remember, we can blow up either one of those or two of those, uh, and nothing will happen. But if we blow up a third, then we'll actually fight a boss. So don't know how I feel about that. Also don't know if I can actually get this bomb to work. Okay, so let's place it right there. Nope. Oh, finally. I think that's... Okay, it blew up like a tiny bit. So we got the last of it. All right. Okay, cool. So uh, now I think we're gonna blow up one more shadow orb and then get out of here. We're good, cause I'm done. Uh, but yeah, I've used up a lot of bombs actually. Oh, what's that? I think that's a jungle. Oh, okay. Yep, that's a jungle. I see a snatcher dude. Okay. 
Let's get this guy. Um, this guy. Get all those bombs to blow up. Let's get him. We almost got him. Okay. So let's uh, get out of there. Screams echo around you. Yeah, okay. So I think the next one we blow up is going to be a boss. But we got a shadow orb. Oh, I think that's, um... I think, if I remember correctly. Actually, let's, um, go home quick. Recall potion, go. Okay. So we're home, and there's a fallen star. Uh, which I think you can craft into other stuff, not just mana. Uh, crystals, but those are the first... Yeah, like, right here. You can use one to craft an enchanted nightcrawler. Which has higher bait power. Uh, but yeah, we got a shadow orb. And I think we put that... In one of these slots. Okay, that one. Shadow orb, right? Look, now we've got a shadow orb. And he follows us around and makes light. So if we're in a super dark cave, we actually don't need to hold out torches, which is pretty useful. Uh, I think this thing is a pretty good loot uh, that we got from there. We also got a musket. So I think that... Oh, 35 damage. Do I have bullets, though? I don't think I have bullets. Oh, it starts off with 100? It says we have 100. Um, where's the bullet? Uh... Got musket bullets, so I guess those come with it, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think. Uh, okay, it shoots lasers. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, let's let's try it out. I don't want to try it on a goldfish, cause I already killed some goldfish in this series. I don't want to be mean to them again. So can I find a slime or something? A zombie maybe? Oh, there's an arrow. Oh yeah, I need to craft some more of these. Uh, but yeah. So I think this thing does a. Uh, 36 damage. It has slow speed. Um, oh, that's pretty slow. Yeah, okay, so it's slower than my bow. Uh, my bow does like 20, 22 damage, and uh, well, when I have the, the fire, the, the ice arrows. And it will light things on fire, uh, I guess. So yeah, we got 11 demonite ore also. Uh, and we can throw that in here. I already have 13 demonite bars, and I can actually... Uh, if I can get to this anvil here, we can see. Uh, I can craft some demonite bars here. Craft up the rest of these. So now I've got 18. We can get the Fisher of Souls, uh, which I don't want. Um, we can get a demon bow. We can get a war axe of the night. We can get Light's Bane. We can get a yo-yo. And... Yeah, I, so I think we can also get a pickaxe and armor if we get enough, but I don't think we have enough yet. I think you need 20 for our helmet, um, but we only need 25, because uh, that's what all the other helmets cost. But we can get Light's Bane, which is actually really good. Right here I have a fast speed, 11 damage, 4% critical strike chance. This is also 4%, uh, but it does 17 damage and very fast speed. It has average knockback. This has average knockback. So... This is better. Uh, I think it's also one of the best swords you can get uh, before fighting a boss that I don't want to spoil yet. Uh, but then after that we can get all kinds of cool stuff um, and new ores and stuff after we fight him. So Yeah, but that's pretty far ahead right now. I don't know if we want to craft this because currently my sword is kind of a, uh, failing me in damage output. Uh, and we've also got platinum, so we might be able to craft a platinum sword. Actually, I'm thinking what we're actually going to do is craft platinum chainmail. Ooh, that's 35. Right, so we've got three defense here, and this is six defense. So that would bring us up three, and we'd be at 18 defense. Uh, I, we'll craft it later, maybe. Uh, but yeah, here, a platinum, platinum broadsword does 15 damage. Uh, and very fast speed. And I think... Okay, well... I think we're gonna craft a Platinum Sword. Okay. And we'll save the Demonite for armor. Uh, oh, it's ruthless. It does... Oh, that's good. Yeah, so they get these random buffs. I don't know if I've said this already, but they get these ran random buffs. So this is a Platinum Broadsword, but it says Ruthless in front. And the name is changed to blue. Uh, so you've got a Superior Lead Pickaxe, just a regular Iron Axe, and an Iron Hammer. Here's the Angler. Angler. Angler, an not Angler. I might have a job for you. Okay, so I saw this bright orange colorful fish by the ocean, which I guess is this. It's a Nemo. It 
No, it's actually clownfish. Though, it says. Yeah, clownfish. Okay. Go catch it for me, and then another one will show up. Oh, haha. <laughs> so it is actually Nemo. Um. So caught in the open, uh, ocean. Okay. So we're gonna have to. I'm gonna go fishing. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty boring. I'll show you if I actually catch it. Uh, but like the actual just waiting for it to, to catch will probably be pretty boring. Uh, so we're gonna head over there. Uh, probably I'm probably gonna fish it up and then wait till night comes and then fight Skeleton. So see you then. Hey, we got it. Took me a while, uh, but we got a clownfish quest item. So that's pretty cool. I also got a wooden crate, uh, which I have already got. Ooh, seven platinum bars. I've gotten a few of them already uh, from just normally fishing. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's almost nighttime too. And here's where I died earlier. Uh, you can see it on the map, maybe? Okay, so the traveling merchant departed, but yeah, my grave isn't there for some reason, I don't know. But yeah, I got all my money back. Uh, and when you die in Terraria, I don't know if I explained this, but you actually lo just lo drop your money. Also, there's a sandstorm. <laughs> Ooh. Also, there's those things. Yeah. Alright. Looks like we're out of the desert. No. Am I taking damage? Oh no, 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 no. Don't kill me. That's the wrong thing. Oh, really? Okay. So looks like we've escaped. We've also got some goblin scouts on our heels. Uh, or actually just one. But yeah, they just kind of randomly spawn. Uh, and they drop tattered cloth, which I think lets you make actually a map, uh, which lets you summon the pirate invasion. So I don't know if that's um, if we can do that yet, if we have to defeat something first. Uh, but it looks like it's nighttime now, so let's see. Oh, this guy's all the way in here. Uh, should we do it? Okay, I need my potions. Also, okay, so we've got 23 seconds on that. So let's potion up. Uh, we will have, um, hmm. So we've got enough arrows. Uh, I think we're ready. Okay, so let's wait for this dude to walk over here. Let's drink shine potion, iron skin potion, and curse. Okay. Alright. So this is Skeletron right here. Uh, we basically just need to shoot him as much as possible and avoid his hands. Uh, which is why I... I uh, made this stadium. I also made it next to the dungeon so I could fight uh, both bosses here. Also, it's good when he does that attack. So it means we don't have to avoid his hands, uh, which is good. But I think the, the big strategy here, uh, if I can remember correctly, is to shoot his head first. And you can actually take out his hand, but I would rather shoot his head first. Uh, just because uh, if you kill his head, then he dies. But if you kill his arms, then um, he's still alive. Uh, and I think they have similar health, too, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, well, this this might be a bit too hard. We might need more armor. Oh, don't fall off. Okay. Where is this? Okay, there's his hands. Uh. Okay, yeah, so we just wait for him to do that attack. It's useful. Uh. Oh, no. Don't want to get hit by his head. I think his hands do less damage than his head. Uh, so. Mm. Okay, so he's got a bit of life left. Uh, our potion is halfway, so we can drink another one. Uh, so, alright, let's go under him. Uh, and I'm not going to speed up this fight. Actually, how do you guys think about the speeding up? So I think I, I sped up the fights in the last episode. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to speed up this one. I might. Uh, but I'm going to talk anyway, because I wasn't talking in the other ones. So that's one of the reasons I sped it up. Also, I don't have an archery potion in this fight. Last one I had, uh, but I ran out of them, so I didn't have any to use here.
And then kind of just avoid all the attacks. Uh, and run around and do the exact same thing a bunch of times. So sometimes it's uh, really boring and tedious, uh, especially if you don't have a damaging enough weapon. So I might need a new weapon soon. Uh, this bow is doing pretty good, especially against uh, underground. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so what did we get? Uh, we got healing potions. <laughs> That's all he dropped. He just dropped a bunch of hearts and healing potions. But the main thing is we defeated him, so um, we're epic. And uh, also, I think we can now go inside the dungeon. I don't really want to yet, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to get wrecked if we go in here. Uh, also, they've got skull pots, but uh, well, we'll go down in here. Also, there, for some reason, there's no bookshelves in here. When I came back here, uh, there are also banners. So, uh, I think these are just decorative, but I don't know. Also, we can't mine these blocks, uh, and I don't think we can use bombs on them either. You have to get a really, really good pickaxe to mine these. Also, the dungeon music is coming on, so I think we're probably deep enough in uh, that actual dungeon mobs will start spawning, which I don't... Oh, I just saw something. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There's a dude, there's a dude. Um, we're gonna get out of here. Because I don't really want to fight them yet. I'll, I think I'm ready, possibly, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, tell me how you think on the sped up time lapse boss fights. Uh, how are those going? And uh, yeah, we defeated Skeletron. Uh, we checked out the dungeon. No, no. Well, we checked out the uh, the corruption and the crimson. We'll hang up our banners there above our bookshelf. Uh, but yeah, how was that? Uh, also, do I have another bookshelf? I had a feeling I did. Nope, I don't. Um, Anyway, yeah, that, that's, that's all from me. I'll see you later. Goodbye.